What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to my channel, it's your boy Graphics. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to apply the lens effect just like this in Corel Draw. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell icon. So, coming over here, guys, this is Corel Draw, and welcome to Corel Draw, guys. So, if you look at um, the Premier League logo, you will see on um, the stars that looks like a football. So, I'm going to show you guys how to apply that effect in Corel Draw, all right? So without any further ado, let's jump straight to it. So now I'm going to make use of the star. I'm going to create a star um, using my polygon tool. Then once you create, you can actually make use of this. Um, you can make use of it on anything. Actually, you can create the logo and the 3D widget depending on what you want to achieve. Like I said, anything that works for you, stick to it. All right. So now. Select your shape tool and um, draw this way. And once you draw, let's give it um, a blue color. All right, so now let's reduce this. Now, we're going to duplicate this. So to duplicate, you're going to hold your shift and um, drag this way. Now, hold Control R to duplicate it just right here. Now, what you're going to do is we're going to bring it down, this down below, just like that. And um, hold, use Control R to duplicate just like that. So what you're gonna do is um, on on group it and uh, come to your tools bar and select your ellipse tool. Drag this way, all right. Click and drag and remove the stroke and the fill, all right. So once you do that, what you're gonna do is if you're using Core Draw 2021 or Core Draw 2022, all you need to do is just go to Effects. Select less. The shortcut is Alt F3. So Alt in um, Core Draw actually, or in Core Draw means alternative, right? That is the shortcut alternative, all right? Then the F3 means functional key. That's the functional key. Functional key means the F1 to F4 you have on your keyboard. That's F1 is called functional key, all right? So click on it, and you can see this drop menu here. Select fish eye, and once you do that, you can see where we have rates is on 100%. So you can increase depending on what you want to achieve. You can just increase and uh, or decrease it this way. You can increase or decrease. So, what you're going to do is click on frozen to remove this from here, and you can delete this one. All right, you can delete and um, ungroup it. All right. Once you ungroup it, you can actually make use of anything. Maybe apply, um, you can apply a color to it just this way. Let's give it this color and let's see what we have. So you can see, you can give it any color. You can see it's looking like a football. All right, so you can use this to create a photo collage or anything of your choice. So we can try another method. Um, let's see. Um, let's say um, lens effects. All right. So we can let's remove. Let's change to lowercase. So you can basically do something like this, or you can just apply it on just this one. All right. Just duplicate this width, just like that, and select your ellipse tool and drag this weight and select fish eye you guys see guys this is what you are going to have you can increase and see and see the effects click on frozen and uh, remove this then you can delete the others so this is basically how to create this effects in current draw all right it's actually a design tips it can help you on uh, any of your projects or anything you want to achieve. All right. So if you love this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you have any question, guys, don't forget to drop me a comment in the comment section below. I actually made use of this effect to create a photo collage. If you remember this video I made sometime last year, um, I actually made use of this to create that photo collage. All right. The lens effect which we have here is what I made use of to create that photo collage right so if you have any question don't forget like i said drop me a comment in the comment section below see you guys in my next 